So what's going on today is I'm going to show you guys how to solder some wire connections. I am going to be soldering my speed controller. Uh, the connectors onto that because it came with no connectors for the motor and for the power side. So I'm using these connectors for the power and these little gold connectors for the motor. I've also got some heat shrink that I can put over these tips and everything. That way you don't get any shorts while you've got it in your RC craft. So, if you look at these connectors here, it actually has a little spot for the wire to fit down into. And on top of that, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's a little hole right on top. So, I've got one secured in here. These things are pretty handy, by the way. It's like a little third hand. Um, that way you don't have to try to hold the wire and the connector and all that and then the connector heats up and the wire heats up and then all of a sudden you got hot stuff flying all around it's not cool but the wire already has some solder on it so I'm gonna get some solder on my iron here put it in the uh, connector and then put solder down in that little hole that's there and you're gonna have to let that heat up for a second so it'll flow down in and actually that's what the tip tinner is here for as well that allows the uh, the solder to be more flowable it's like a um what's the word i'm looking for actually it's not flowing down on the hole the way i want it to but i think what i'm going to do is put a little bit in the end of the connection this is actually the first time i've actually soldered a speed controller i've done a lot of soldering um for just like general wiring like for automobiles electrical systems uh, radios, alarm systems, stuff like that, but first time for RC, first time for everything, right? But it's the same basic principle, you just want to get solder on each of your connection points first, kind of like pre-soldering, and then heat them both up and get them to connect together. So that's what I'm doing right now, is just trying to get a little solder down in that little pit of the connector. I think I've got about as much as it's going to take in there. And then put the soldering iron on there, heat it up real good. And then get your wire in once it's nice and hot. And it'll solidify pretty quick. And actually, there you have it. So that's one connector. I've got to do the same thing for the other two wires. And then also for the motor side, put the male connectors on there because these are the female connectors. So I'm going to do that for the next six wires and then I'll show you how to do the heat shrink.